right, hello, hello. Hopefully you guys can see and hear me. I'm just gonna give it a few minutes. Sorry, today's live webinar. I would be lying if I didn't say I was a little bit nervous. I haven't done a webinar in a little while. So <laughs> and this is a brand new format. So welcome everyone. My name is Lisa Malice. I am part of the team here at Photo Day. Oh, hey, Christoph. Hopefully you guys can uh, just chime in. Let me know. You can see, hear me. I'm in a little corner here. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> From the cold tundra of Wyoming. Yes, Christina. I'm not going to talk about the weather here in Tampa because I'll I'm going to be empathetic towards that cold weather. Unless you like it cold. I'm not a cold person. <laughs> Amel. Hey, Mitch. A lot of new names here I'm seeing today. I went through the registration list before I hopped on. Some of you guys that registered for the webinar, I totally think you're Photo Day veterans. And this might be, this is a beginner webinar. Um, but you're welcome to hang out with me the whole time uh, anyway, just for fun. Or if you just want to, you know, leave some comments in the chat as I go along. That is great. It's great to see everyone here today. Um, you know, this webinar is just all about the very basics of photo day. And if you're in the decision making mode and oh, hey, Jason and Joe, but if you're in the decision-making mode on what to do this season, I hopefully will enlighten you here and show you what we are all about here at Photo Day and exactly what we do here at Photo Day. So welcome, everyone. I am going to dive in and get started because I just spent two minutes doing that. So, <laughs> so what is Photo Day? Um, I, I love this new tagline we're going into the season with time saving, money making, game changing. There's one I think I'll just say out loud here that some of you may have experienced or want to experience marriage saving. I've heard that a lot <laughs> um, since the last few years. It's not something we set out to do, but apparently it just works, you know, like especially when, you know, a lot of you are, you know, one man shows like entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, like just doing your thing, scaling your business and looking for resources that are going to help you save time so you can continue what you love to do the most, which is take amazing photos and let all of those other boring tasks that are not so fun be handled by photo day or our technology and our features. So I think one of the biggest struggles that, you know, we see a lot of new studios have is adopting like what you were doing previously, whether that was paper forms or some kind of online prepay and switching that to an online uh, solution. So I have some tips as we go along there, if that's something um, that you guys have uh, are experiencing or that you're exploring and hopefully I can answer some of those questions today. Oh, you on board with Daryl? Awesome. So excited. All right, guys. So, I mean, why we built this solution, um, I'll just back it up to uh, six years ago now. Um, and, you know, we, you know, my experience in the industry has always been like, I've always been involved. I'm tech savvy. And I've always been involved in like trying out different softwares and workflows and things like that. And I also ha come from the pro lab background. So I saw that there was pretty much nothing out there that was developed specifically for <laughs> sports in school, AKA volume photographers, right? Everything that was kind of hitting the market to help us simplify our processes about six years ago was really built for like the portrait and wedding photographer and then kind of molded to try to make it work for this volume world. And I was like, there's this opportunity here and nobody's really tapped into it or really got a good process down. And I was just like really coming it from it from the lab side in the manual process when we get these huge orders come in of paper forms or, you know, barcodes or data and images and have to marry them all back up and produce the packages. And it was just so cumbersome. So we outlined all the steps it took to get an eight by 10 from, <laughs> from picture day into the hands of mom and dad. And it was like 67 different things, 67 different things you had to do to sell like an eight by 10 for 15 to 20 bucks. Right. And I was like, this is so ridiculous. There's gotta be a way to cut down on those steps by way of technology. And that's 
how Filter Day was born. It was identifying those pain points and just cutting them down one by one into this new process, this new ecosystem to make it a lot easier um, to get that, you know, get your products, your images into the hands of your customer. And I think we did a pretty good job at that. So, um, you know, what does that mean in the volume world, right? There's all different types of photography that um, you can sell with Photo Day. So, like, we have plenty of studios using our platform for dance, for gymnastics, for youth sports, for high school sports, commencement, preschools, underclass, elementary. We, we can do it all, right? So, we continue. So one of the biggest benefits, I think, of working with Photo Day and one of the things that I personally love about it is that our product and engineering team are constantly pushing out releases. So we release new updates, new features and enhancements like at least once a month. Right. And that has been a wild ride because we have a way of collecting all of the feedback and looking at the data from our system to see what we need to build next and who we need to build it for. Right. To make your lives easier and more profitable in this, in this whole world of volume photography. So um, yeah, so I'm going to read the comments as I go along, but I'm going to try to stay on track. But yeah, it what it really did was it opened up our eyes in the very beginning of this launch to like, hey, we're not just trying to solve this paper form problem. But what we're really trying to solve is, you know, you got, um, you know, before in the prepay world, you had you could take great photos, but you would probably get about the same return as the person next door that wasn't taking amazing photos or was struggling with their photography, right? And there was really no sense of like, I really want to improve my photography, or I really want to bring value to volume photography, and create more images, better images to really sell. And with this image first selling platform, that becomes a top priority, right? You can, you can, you guys are creatives, you love creating and giving your customers, you know, amazing variety of looks and our job is to give you that platform that allows you to deliver and sell all of those amazing images that you are creating, right, in an easy way. So I think that was one of the coolest changes that I've seen is the creativity that's come out of this community um, on different looks, different expressions, different, you know, with composited photographers, you know, photographers that are using a lot of composites versus photographers that are shooting traditional and adding, you know, more sophisticated lighting setups to their portraits in a volume setting and it's just really changing the whole value as an industry um, of school and sports photography it's changing the expectation of the customer which i find so totally fascinating because it's bringing that value back into our pockets when we were at a time in this industry where we were just driving it down it was a race to the bottom right we were just like kind of bidding against each other who can sell the packages the cheapest and give the most money back in commissions or something like that. Now it's really changed the game when you come in with that community feel, with those images of those families that are part of that community that just blow everybody else out of the water. And I just really love that part about Photo Day. So we are a big team, a team of many. Um, you know, in the last couple of years, we have grown substantially. This is just part of our team. This was taken actually in August, and we've added quite a few team members since August. I think we even have openings right now still posted on our website. But we are growing rapidly, um, and that's because we want to continue to build the most amazing product and bring it forefront to our users and future users. Um, so we're always listening. If there's something that you have a question with or something you're just not seeing, please let us know because we're always listening to you guys. That's why we're here. Um, but I'll just back it up too is our early trail, our trailblazers, right? These are the early adopters of Photo Day who really risked everything and trusted us with this new business model, this new way of doing volume photography and really took that to the next level. So you know, none of this would be possible without our trailblazers in the beginning, putting that trust in us, trying different jobs, listening, providing us the feedback along the way. And it's just been such an amazing journey. So like kudos to you trailblazers. You know, who you are, your faces are here. We have blog posts posted on our blog.photoday.io for any other stories you want to read. Um, but they have been a really great part of making this all happen for us. And then, of course, there's our community. So for those of you guys that don't know that you're new, we have an amazing Facebook users group, the Photo Day users group. So 
You do have to have a photo day account to get into that users group. So you have to sign up, but it's free to sign up. We'll go over that at the end. But the community is great. It's really great to read other people's experiences, right? It's not like so much listen to me or what I'm saying or what our team is saying. It's listen to the actual people that are using the platform, how they're using it, the questions that they run into. It's really great just to spend that time when you're brand new to photo day and kind of cycle through that users group and, you know, ask questions in there. Don't be scared. We encourage it. There is no such thing as a stupid question, right? Um, and we can help you figure that out. If you don't like the peer influence or one to many environment or approach, you can always use our chat bubble or send us an email or schedule a call and we will get with you guys on that. But users group is great, especially for off hours and weekends when we have to get our rest so we can continue to do awesome for you guys the next day. <laughs> so, and then of course our trusted lab partners. So we are um, deeply integrated with our pro lab partners. We have Bay Photo Millers, Reedy Photo, Richmond and White House. So our lab partners have been great. They've um, helped us a lot as well with, you know, building out what we've built by giving us feedback, by giving us some of their opinions on things and things like that. It's really helped power us through. So a big thank you to our lab partners. We have great lab partners and all of them kind of do things a little bit differently. We have plenty of articles to support that. So if you're trying to choose a lab with Photo Day and because you don't currently use one of these labs, um, we can help you um, based on like what your specific needs are, where you're at in the country or who you like, or maybe you used before and you have questions, but we have great relationships with all of our lab partners. Um, so we're happy to share any information um, that you need that's relevant to choosing a lab. You can also choose more than one lab. So if you wanted to send all of your schoolwork to say Miller's and send your sports work to Reedy, you could do things like that. They have slightly different products, slightly different uh, graphic themes for some of the pre-made templates like memory mates if you shoot sports um, in there. So they're all slightly different, but we can help you guys uh, pick the best lab for that too. Um, and then our complete toolkit. So photo day is made up of many parts. I like to start out with this because we, you know, and I really want to showcase the amount of support and handholding that we can do to help you, um, be successful with online sales, especially if you tried it and you failed before I get it. Like I worked at a studio once I tried online and I failed multiple times with different online solutions. Right. So I've been in those shoes where our participation wasn't quite there. People weren't converting the sale and we had to figure all of that out. Um, but we got, we are here to support you guys through that. So there is definitely a way to get it done. So First of all, your toolkit is exactly what I just said. One-on-one -on -one onboarding with a specialist. You guys get this. Every single one of you get this. When you sign up for Photo Day, you can schedule that call. We can identify pain points, any concerns, any questions that you guys have. It's dedicated time for you. Um, so we can help you with your journey as you onboard with Photo Day um, and ensure your complete success. So... Mission control, your studio panel. This is where everything happens. Um, you know, you can, it, where it's browser. We are a web-based platform. So it, you can also access your studio panel on your mobile devices. That's really cool. I see a lot of you guys on your, when we're out in person at these workshops or events that you're constantly tapping into your studio panel, swapping a price sheet on a job, publishing a job, expiring a job just while you're on the go. I think that's such a cool part about, being in this whole 100% online system is that you don't have to be tied to a desk, right? So, I mean, you can manage your sales and manage a lot of your studio from your mobile device. When you're at your next shoot and you're just waiting around for the next team or class to show up, you can check on things. And I think that's really cool. It's something that we didn't really have before in the paper form world. It was kind of like we weren't as efficient. We were trying to do all these manual things. So, Use the technology to your advantage. Think about new ways, how your time is going to be freed up and how can you better use that time to grow your business. Um, and I just think, or just form relationships. If you don't want to grow and you just want to keep what you have and you want to keep them happy and make your life easier, use it that way too. It's not all about scaling. Sometimes it's about the quality of the customer and just keeping them happy and you're happy with that. So, you know, I'd like to say both sides because everybody's at a different place in their business. So mission control is where it all happens on the studio panel. We also have the photo 
Photoday dashboard app. This is super cool feature of Photoday. I don't, I think we're the only ones that has a dedicated app that pushes your sales and your sales performance directly to you. It's for iOS and Android. It does work on the watch. If you have a watch too, I know I have a watch. I'm totally addicted to closing my activity rings every single day, but, um, this is really cool. You can see it has a little bit of those activity trends influence, but every time you make a sale or what we call a big sale, PD 100, any order that's over a hundred dollars, you know, that was so rare in the volume world before on paper forms. That's why we wanted to celebrate these larger orders because we're giving customers more to purchase and they're spending more in terms of sports and school photography. That's game changing right there, guys. You guys are creating the product. And this system is helping you get it out there and make those larger sales. And I just think it's really cool that the dashboard app pushes that for you. So you don't have to go and retrieve it. You can have the notifications or log into your app at any time. And it's super cool. We even have a bunch of custom watch faces for the Apple watch that includes your sales. So make sure to check that out. And then we have the photo day capture app. So you know, there's photo day has these three different gallery types, private group and public and the private galleries we have instead of using a QR code solution or barcode solution to marry the data and images and put them in these private galleries that are pass, you know, password protected or access code. You have to enter a specific access code to get in there. We came up with a capture app. Because one of our shiny things is face finds, our facial clustering technology that we use that you can take all these great photos and cluster them together. The capture app does just that. Um, so instead of taking a photo of like, a, you know, scanning a barcode or taking a photo of a QR code, you snap a picture of the subject's face. And then any images you upload to that gallery, group, buddy, and they're, of course, their individual portraits get clustered into that private gallery. The face becomes the QR code, so to speak. But the great thing about it is that there's no time stamping, so it can be done in any order on your workflow. And let me tell you that so many people come to me and they're like, doesn't that take longer? And I'm like, well, you're not focusing on a QR code and you're not flipping through a stack of papers or camera cards to find somebody's barcode. You're literally opening your phone, scrolling like a Rolodex, just like your contact list or start typing a name or filtering it by the data you have available, class grade team, and then tap it on that kid taking a photo. If you don't have the data, you can add it on the fly. It works offline. It works online. It is the coolest app. And I invite you guys all to challenge it because it's pretty awesome. And then, of course, using our Facebook users group. That's part of your toolkit. Like I touched on in the beginning, use that peer-to-peer -peer influence, ask questions in there, get other people's experiences, or just read the previous posts. It'll give you a lot of insight into what you're about to get into. Um, another thing I really love about Photo Day is our guide. Like we have really great documentation and resources for you to help you learn along the way, whether it's a webinar, whether it's onboarding, whether it's the Photo Day guide is a documentation of all the features in Photo Day and how to use them if you're a reader versus a watcher, right? So, you know, depending on how you like to learn and consume information, don't forget about the Photo Day guide because it's actually pretty awesome. And then articles. So our articles are just shorter condensed version of what's in the guide and maybe some more things um, that you can search for and bring up some articles. This is great for when we're offline or you just want to search and self teach yourself, you know, yourself like so don't be scared to ask questions. But also I want you to know that you have all of these resources at your fingertips as well. And then this is where all the videos are inside of photo day Academy. This is getting, uh, we're doing some exciting things in 2023 with Photo Day Academy. Can't wait for it. Not going to spill the beans. But there's a lot of things in here as far as our Facebook Lives, um, previous recorded webinars, some basic um, photo composition, lighting, posing guides, um, things like that. And then Trailblazer Talks, like our Trailblazer sharing really great information about their experience and how they do things. Take advantage of what is in Photo Day Academy, guys. Can't say that enough. Um, I already went over webinar replays, but here's more whole webinar replays section. Um, we try to divide out everything and see like, you know, invite special guests on and do different topics. But we want to stay in the forefront in terms of education to ensure everybody's success. 
And then we have these amazing sales and marketing kits. These are actually um, going to go through some enhancements as well as we continue to evolve as a brand and a company. But these um, resources are in your studio panel and they're just like the marketing kit is for after you book the job and you need like posters or social graphics just to spread the word about the upcoming picture day. It's just the layout. If you're not good with copy, this is great. You can grab the copy if you want to change the colors for your branding, put your logo on it. These are all Photoshop files, so you guys can get as creative with this as you want to match your brand. Um, and then also the sales kit. The sales kit is more for when you want to go book a new school or organization or you know or league, and that has like some videos in it, some you know key selling points, how to help you pitch your business by way of using this solution, the benefits for your organizations and their customers are all in there. So what I really wanted to show you guys today too is how easy, this is one of the, this is another shiny thing about Photo Day guys. It is so simple. The simplicity of UI and UX in our platform, we hear it all the time. Like it's stupid simple. How long is it gonna take me? Do I need to come out for two days and learn how to use your system? and get it up and running. And I'm like, you can get it up and running within minutes. Like it's that easy. It is incredibly difficult to make something so simple. I have learned this firsthand in the last six years. Um, Rainer, our head of product is absolutely amazing at it and super talented. So props to you Rainer, because you've made my life and all of our support staff a lot easier as well as all of our studios lives a lot easier when we're trying to figure out software. So. I'm going to share my screen here and just show you how easy that is. So I'm going to shut off my camera and turn my screen share on and pop over here to mission control. So when you come in here, it'll be empty for the first time. My sales don't look that great because, well, it's just my personal demo account. So I'm not really doing a bunch of jobs here, um, but I can get started right away by creating a job. But I really kind of wanted to show you how easy this is. So even if you don't have your Stripe Connect set out and you can't do your payout yet and stuff like that, um, you don't have to have all of that done before you get up and start selling with Photo Day, right? You can always connect that later. But after you sign in, um, obviously, you can. all you have to do is set the job up. So I'm going to come in here and set up a new job, and I'm just going to call it um, – Ooh, I don't know. I'll just call it AADF. That's not my kid's dance school. So, um, and I just came off the dance convention weekend. So I'm going to use this as an example. <laughs> so, and then I'm going to make the picture day date for today. Cause let's just say I'm get called last minute. I got to go photograph 25 kids. Um, and I just want an easy system to use this time zone right here. Um, that's just for your preview and your time zone. So and mine's defaulting to Eastern because that's where I'm at. And the job logo here, you could upload a logo for a job. If you're doing like little leagues and stuff like that, and you want to put their logo on some of the customizable memory mates, this is where you would upload it. So just make sure it's print crop quality and it's good enough resolution. We got all tips and pointers for you as you get started. And I'm going to go in here and set up this gallery access for ease of use. I'm just going to do a public gallery. They're kind of my favorite if you're doing any rec league sports, tournaments, action, dance schools, because it's just a private gallery link that's shared and it goes directly into the gallery for your customers to find, view, and purchase their photos. Um, the group gallery has one additional step for them. They just have to enter in the access code that you create one additional time before they view it. And then the private gallery is where each person gets their own access code. So for this quick demo, I just want to show you, you know, I'm going to get started, create this gallery link. I'm going to put demo 2023 PD as my access code. I'm just going to copy it to my clipboard because I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with that later. But you can customize this code. It is global to 90738. So before you advertise a code, make sure you claim it so nobody else can use your code in all of photo day land, right? Claim your codes. Before you market it, don't send somebody else to somebody else's gallery. So I can't say that enough. So that's all I had to do. Like if I wanted to get set up and start connecting families to my gallery today, that is all I had to do. I didn't have to set up a price sheet. I didn't have to do any of that stuff. Um, and this is what I wanted to show you. I can go over here to this little QR code monkey and I'm going to put that access code um, that I just created here and I'm going to create a new QR code. 
Now, this is the cool part of communication that I really want to show you. And of course, every time I go to screen share my phone, it like, um, I was doing it right before this demo and it totally uh, crapped out on me here. So give me one second, because I want to show you what this looks like um, from my phone um, here. Oh, that's not what I want to show. I want to show this. Give me one second. All right, guys, I was on a roll and then this happened. So, oh, here we go. And I tested this right before, but five, one, four, oh, here. And hopefully this will work for me so I can show you the communication. All right, cool. So you can take this QR code and you can use any QR code generator and you can print that on any of our marketing flyers, right? And take that out with you or a little poster board. My favorite at the public events is more of like a, you know, we have the signage, it shows people how to opt in. And then I just put a big QR code, scan me and opt in. You wanna get them to text this number and connect to the gallery. So um, Christina, yes, to answer your question, claiming the code is for public and group galleries. On the private galleries, each person gets their individual code. So here um, is my phone and I'm just gonna bring up my camera. And I'm going to snap a picture of that QR code I just created. Now, if you can imagine if I'm a parent, it's going to have the text all populated with me. So all I got to do on picture day is snap a picture of that and opt in to the gallery from my phone. And it's going to show me right here that I am subscribed to picture day, right? That is it. Connecting people to the gallery. And that's it. So um, questions coming in. I see you guys coming in. How did I claim that code in the gallery? I created the public job. And then as I was setting it up, I just went down here to the opt-in code and I put the code that I wanted and I hit save. That is how you claim the code for your gallery. Right, guys? Um, no integration with any CRM right now. I will have time for more Q&A at the end, but I just wanted to show this to you guys. Um, so let's go pretend we went to picture day. You got all your opt-ins. They'll be in here under customers. You see, that's me. I opted into the gallery. Um, you'll see your opt-ins coming in here. You'll be out at picture day. You come back, you post process and you upload your photos to the gallery. So I'm not going to show like a whole lot of uploads here because, um, because I just, for sake of time, I don't want to go and upload a bunch. But you can upload your photos to the gallery um, and you can have them in folders. If you upload them in folders, um, those folder names will tra translate as tags or like a hierarchy for people on how to find their photos. But if you just upload like a bunch of photos of the gallery here, you can always tag them all later. It's totally fine. Um, and Joshua, great question. Can you use this to provide proof galleries? Um, yes, you can tell them that they're proof galleries. However, every single gallery has to have a price sheet attached to it for them to purchase at some point. So we can go over those details um, towards the end as well. Um, but I just kind of wanted to show you what this looks like. And of course, my phone stopped mirroring again. Like, I didn't even turn this off. You got to love technology sometimes, guys. But I really wanted to show you on upload your photos, categorize them. You have different settings in here. My little screen is asking me to pop up. Let me ask that one more time. Seven, nine, five up here. But under your uh, gallery search options in a public gallery, you can really give your customer three different ways to find the photos. Face find where they can upload a photo of the person they're looking for and photo day will return just those photos to them. Tags, which is that folder structure I talked about, or you can tag within the photo management, or all photos. And you can toggle these on and off. So if you wanted a gallery that's face find only or face find and tags, and you want to turn off all photos, I always recommend turning off all photos, just like if you have thousands of photos in there, just so somebody doesn't get stuck in a forever scroll. Um, but you can save that. I'm going to leave it on because I only have three photos in there. I don't need to save it. So before I publish this gallery, and this is a really cool thing I, I wanted to show you, before I publish it, it has to have a price sheet attached to it. This isn't a full-on demo about price sheets, but if you guys need that, we have resources. 
about that. I'm not going to make a price sheet on this uh, call for just for sake of like, you know, time on us. I'm going to respect that. Um, but I'm going to set up my storefront. So again, I just really want to hone in on how simple this is to use. It can be complex because we have different options in here and it all depends on what your selling strategy is, but we have great, a great CS team that helps you with that. So Neil, that's a great question. Face find will only work and look within that gallery. Um, and I'll show you that customer experience here shortly. Um, so we're not going to do advanced pay today. That's our answer to prepay. Um, it works a little bit different than prepay because they're buying credits up front to apply towards a purchase later. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and attach a price sheet to this gallery. Once I attach a price sheet, it's going to ask me to like different labs. This is set up for White House. So they have all their themes grouped by color. Um, but say if I selected like this Bay price sheet, they have themes that are available select, you know, by sport or activity type. So it really depends on, I have a bunch of price sheets for all different labs in here set up. Um, so I'm going to come back to just this White House one and I'm just going to select some purple and gray just to save it and move forward so I can publish. But we will never let you guys mess up. So that's the cool thing. Like photo day will not let you go too far ahead without doing something else first. Um, it's very intuitive like that. It's going to stop you and point you in the direction in case you miss a beat. Um, and then, so here, you know, I'm a parent, I'm opted in, I'm waiting for the photographer to publish. Once the photographer publishes, you can do a publish now or publish later. Like if you're not ready to send out, if it's 1am and you're ready to go, just publish it the next morning. Don't publish. Cause when you publish every single person is that opted in your gallery is going to get a message that it's time to shop, right? So picture day photos are ready. View the photos for AADF here. They're all going to get a link to shop. And then they're going to go right into the cart here. They're going to accept terms on our policies. They'll be presented with the search options that you made available. I didn't have any tags, so that's why tags is not appearing. If it's face fine, they click on that. You can, I don't really have a photo to upload right now. But um, you can upload a photo or they can take a new photo there to find photos or they can go to all photos here in the gallery. And then once they're ready to go and they tap on an image, they can scroll through their image, they can favorite their images, um, and then they can go into the store to buy based on the packages that you set up with your pricing, um, how you want to sell to your parents. So when they're in the customizer here and they're trying to pick products, it's going to preview a crop. They can pinch, pinch to zoom how they want to do it. Um, and they can confirm that they can change an image, come back in here, select a different photo buy their images, confirm, and then add to cart. And then once they're there, once they're done shopping and there's a download in that package, you'll notice that it was pre-filled with that first image they're going to be able to upsell, re, you know, retouching. If you have this enabled on your price sheet, you can go ahead and the, the customer can order retouching for their photos. It's not, it's not super intensive retouching. It's a basic retouch. It'll retain freckles or birthmarks or moles or things like that, but it'll get rid of any acne um, and unwanted blemishes. It's actually really, really cool. So I'm going to put no thanks there. Um, and then they can check out. Because we're mobile first, um, we accept Apple Pay, Google Pay, or any credit card they can put in here. Um, but they'll be ready to check out and they can see their uh, estimated delivery time here on the end. Uh, um, so they can choose to upgrade their shipping. So if you get an order and it's like, oh my gosh, why did my customer pay $19 for shipping? It's because they upgraded their shipping to Express and that goes all the way to the lab. So, um, so yeah, so that's actually pretty, pretty cool. Now, if they ordered retouching and they ordered a download, it's still an instant delivery of the retouched file. So they'll get a text message with a link, they'll get an email, and they'll also get a print release if it's a high res download. Social sharing downloads do not include a print release. They say they're for social sharing only. So they'll put their address in here. We'll verify the address automatically to make sure everything's kosher. And then they'll go all the way through the checkout experience. So 
I just really wanted to give you that like really high level overview of what this is all about because I feel like it's just really simple and I needed to show you like how simple it actually is. And I'm going to start my presentation again because it wigs out every time I, I do this and I'll come back to chat. So results. So we have, um, and I'm going to, you guys with questions, I will come back here in a few slides when I get to the end for sure. So I'm not ignoring you. I'm just going to get to the end first. Um, so feel free to post your questions as we go. Um, so results. We have a lot of different reports within Photo Day. You have your sales report, your orders report, your products report. This is where you guys can measure your results as the orders start coming in. Listen, if you guys need help with like figuring out where everything is, like don't be shy. That little orange bubble in the corner, like that is your direct lifeline to our wonderful customer success staff. We call them the bubble. So the bubble is in the orange bubble. So feel free to ask us questions. We have that staffed Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern time. Um, and we may, sometimes we extend hours in the busy season as we can accommodate that. And if there is an influx in support, we can do that. Um, Christoph, that's a great uh, question. I'm going to get to the end on that. You distracted me because I read it and then I was like, I want to answer it. And then I'm like, wait a minute, let me finish what I'm thinking about. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, cool. So results, lots of ways to measure your results in the reports. Um, you know, you can export any of these as a CSV file if you are using another CRM or anything that you want to import in to count your packages and things like that, or you can just do it manually. I personally love Google Sheets. It's super easy to use, and I store a bunch of stuff there for my personal and professional use. Um, but yeah, so it's actually pretty awesome, but you can tally it all up. We have packages reports, orders reports which give you the complete breakdown along with customer data and information if you want to use that to cross market um, for other areas of your studio as well. Um, and then, of course, like I always like to say, don't listen to me. I'm just here to tell you all the great things, the reasons why I'm here, the reasons why we, we made Photo Day and what, why we love it so much. Um, but you guys can listen to, oh, look, Jason, you're on here and you have a quote on my slide. This is a brand new presentation. <laughs> so, but yeah, it's like, I mean, we have a lot of blog posts. Um, like I said, the community um, ask around because you guys will get honest answers, but I always invite you to do that um, because it's always good to do that kind of research first to see what you're really getting into. Um, but basically it's all about like, we've heard everything like monumental changes into speeding up, like, you know, especially Neil Freed, if you guys ever seen him, um, speak at any conferences I and mean, they're kind of like the game changer in the world of school photography, they do beautiful outdoor portraits with skilled photographers. Um, and it's just crazy, um, the averages that they see and how they've really separated themselves out from competition, but they were using a QR system before that they had self-developed and came over to the photo day capture process. And it's just lightning fast for them, especially when you're doing so many different multiple poses or different variations for each subject. It really, really cuts down on that picture day time so you can get through your lines faster. And then of course, like, you know, the whole, the whole cash flow thing. So many people are always worried about like, Hey, on paper forms or prepay, I get to leave that day with like a boatload of money. Right. I think the more you do and the more you scale that starts to kind of even out, right. Because you're getting these residual sales as you continue to build your base and continue to build your customer base and your household accounts within photo day. So you can continuously market to them. But the other thing that, you know, getting that cash flow up front is, prepay with advance pay. So advance pay helps you do that as well. So don't discount that. If it's confusing, let us know and we will be happy to help you figure it out and how to best implement it for your specific use case. And then of course, just like freeing up your time so you can do more fun things. Like I said, whether this is a side gig for you and you just don't want to work as hard at it. Yes. Right. hundred percent. Whether you're a scale rapidly scaling studio and you're about to take over your you know, your city, your town, the metro area, like, yes, we can help you scale and do that. There's different use cases for it. And we're here for it, guys. So what do I think is the best way to dive in, especially if you're on the edge of your seat and you're nervous, book a new job, use our sales kit, use, learn the key selling points, learn the product, get excited about it. 
and go book a new job. I guarantee you, you will easily pick up a new job because one, you're going to be excited and that shows through to the person you're talking to on the other end too. You're going to like the benefits of a system like this for the organization. Amazing. Like it is absolutely amazing for them. And you know, when you focus on that community and focus on image quality and that image for selling, they're going to love it. You can also transition existing jobs. I suggest like if you're doing a retake day and you don't want to go back and do your manual process, do the retake days on photo day, right? Make it easy, make it less risky for you. If you don't want to dive all in, we're totally good with that. Like we will help you baby step it in there just so you can see if it's really going to work for you. And if you want to challenge the technology, if you're like, there is no way facial recognition and clustering is going to work on dance schools because they're all tight, hairs tied in a bun and they all look the same to me. Well, guess what? Well, it looks the same to us with humans. We have short-term memory loss. The computer sees detail a lot more than we do. And it doesn't like lose vision the older we get. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, and it can see those details better than what we can. And it does a really good job. So you can use previous data and images from the fall and upload it to the gallery and just like watch it cluster and really put the technology to the, to the test. We can help you do that in the bubble. If you wanna try that, just reach out and our team will be able to help walk you through that process. So um, pricing a photo day, we are a freemium model. So we don't get paid until you guys start selling. We're commission-based, so we're 10% on the transaction fee. That is before tax and shipping. That's very important to note because we are different in that aspect. We only charge a transaction fee before tax and shipping. That's our list price. It's 10%. You get every single part of this toolkit and all the education and support included in that. Right. Um, so all the text marketing, email marketing, um, the capture app, dashboard app, downloads don't cost anything additional. Um, unlimited storage. I got somebody the other day in the group was like, how big was your biggest gallery? I didn't answer it because I don't want to put it in writing, but I think it was like 30,000 images. We don't like recommend making galleries that big because it takes a long time to search through them. The bigger the gallery is and you got to think like 88 percent of all sales in photo day are happening on a mobile device. So if you're not using a mobile friendly storefront now, you're losing sales. I'm telling you that right now. I can tell you that from our, from my experience with looking at the data, mobile is king. People don't even have desktop computers anymore. And then of course, all the marketing resources and photo day Academy that we do, all of that's included. Now there's a separate transaction fee. We use Stripe for payment processing the flat 2.9% plus 30 cents per transaction. Um, customers can combine orders so they can put siblings together and check out once as long as they're in the same job, right? So if they're in school together or playing a rec league together, they can check out all together. Cool thing about this is you're never hit with a giant lab bill at the end of the week or waiting for the order to ship because as your customer is making the transactions, all parties are getting paid. So to answer your question, Kelly, yes, Photody is considered a marketplace facilitator as of January 1st of this year. Um, Photoday is now responsible and uh, for collecting and remitting sales tax in all 50 states as Photoday. So you guys um, that are using us for your sales no longer have to file monthly sales tax anymore because as legislation ruled and as us being a marketplace facilitator, we must do that now. Yay, government. So <laughs> we have to pay sales tax in all 50 states. So um, that is how it works. So you will no longer be uh, doing your monthly or quarterly sales tax um, for your photo day orders. You'll get a um, 1099K through Stripe at the end of the year to report your income for income tax. And that is it. Um, so now I got Q&A. So I'm going to go back through questions here. Oh, I did the claiming the gallery. No integrations with 17 hats. Um, I did that. Um, can we use proof galleries? I did that. Face fine. I did that. Researching services. Do we use? Um, that is a trick question. <laughs> so we are using AI retouching. It's not manual retouching to do the retouching of images, but we're not previewing it live in the cart because we felt like if we did that, then it would devalue retouching. So we kind of do it behind the scenes and then deliver their order retouched, if that makes sense. So it doesn't seem like AI is doing the retouching. 
But if you guys want to try it out or test it just to see what it does, send us an image and we'll show you the quality of the AI retouch. Um, can the PD logo be replaced with my own brand logo? Um, in galleries.photoday.io, no. Um, that is not a feature yet. Um, but the for the URL uh, domain that is galleries.photoday.io, right now it's all nested into Photoday. We do not have custom URL branding yet. However, you can direct link to that from your website. And then um, I answered the sales tax question. And then can parents sign a model release form when they sign up or do they have to do that separately? Yeah, we're not handling model releases. Um, so what I always recommend is look at your purchases where you can use a dashboard app. If it's a really good image and they sold, you know, they placed a good sale with you. You have their contact information right there. Just reach out to them through email. Be like, hey, I saw you bought these images. Like maybe, you know, offer them like a free download or something if they've already spent with you and you love the images and you want to use it as a model release and just like send off it separate and have them email back. But I would reach out separately just to get that acknowledgement from the parent that it's okay to use um, their child's images for any kind of advertising. And then what's the easiest way to have them opt in with the high school athletes? They're giving us their parents' phone, but no email. Um, so Neil, that's like a really good question. So um, high school sports can always be like, oh my gosh, so crazy. And with the communication. So First step, this is what I recommend, public galleries for high school sports, right? You can do group their like football and cheer together or what, you know, if you're going out in subsequent days, just group those four types together, right? But then what I would do is work with the AD or ask them who does their communication for scheduling and parent communication and try to get that link sent out through that portal. So sometimes the person you talk to about taking the photos isn't the person who's communicating with the parents. So you have to get to that person so you have to be like okay well how does who communicates with the parents like let me know and like how do i get in on that um that's easy way number one easy way number two is hosting the links on your website and directing everyone to your website to go find their photos through those links that's option number two but um giving the parents phone numbers, but no email, like it's not like you can't ingest phone numbers to mass text people without them opting in. That's actually not compliant. So we don't do that, but you can email still like emails kind of been watered down. Like you can do the email. So if they do give you an email list, you can use our marketing flyers to send out the email, but I would still ask that. So I would still ask those questions to get to the right person to help you send out that information. And then, um, um, do you process color correct the images or the only processing we do? Okay, so currently we do not offer um, any color correction services. We are expanding our internal offerings um, for services. We've previewed a little bit about that um, through trade show and event season, um, but stay tuned. We will be offering some more automated post processing through Photo Day, but right now, your best bet is post-processing through another alternate provider or using um, Lightroom. Um, but some of the labs will spot check and color correct images. Like it includes like that bulk correction. But if it's like needing something really substantial, then yeah, I would recommend getting your images um, ready to view. But I mean, with technology nowadays and you guys taking amazing images, you need less and less of that, right? Like less and less of that correct. I just remember back in like the early 2000s when we couldn't even get red to print red. We got to have five profiles to it. I'm really showing my age right now. <laughs> so those days are good. Um, and then, yes, you can create, uh, we have other fields for the private galleries, Neil. So if you want to use those other fields for anything, I think there's three of them that don't already map or exist. You can use those other fields for any custom data that you need um, to ingest that. Um, and then, yeah, Andy, I like I was reading your question, but it says like Olaf color correct, though. Like, I don't know what you meant by that. <laughs> so, the labs, the labs, some of them will do the basic color correction, but I think like Miller is just prints um, and White House just prints. They're not touching the color as much, but like, Reedy will color adjust. I think Richmond will if they see something 
off and I know Bay will as well. So yeah, for sure. Oh, um, okay. That got marked as a question, but yeah, if you guys don't have any more questions, I think I got to all of them. Um, but yeah, like if you guys have more questions and you don't want to ask them here, you can always uh, reach me um, and our support team in the bubble, which is down when you sign in to studio.photoday.io down in the lower corner, you'll see our chat bubble and you can just chat us up there, request a call at any time. Um, and then our email, if you'd rather just email support at photoday.io and we can connect back with you there. So yeah, really up to you guys on that, but yeah, for sure. So it is, uh, it's been awesome. I totally went over my allotted time, but, um, thank you guys for sticking with me until the very end. And of course, like, I hope to see you guys soon and chat and bubble, like, you know, field any questions, sign up, just test drive it, test the software. We're game, man. Challenge the technology. That's the fun part about this and learning. So especially with all the facial clustering. So challenge away, guys. Until next time, I'll talk to you soon. So and if any of you guys are going to be out at sync, we're going to be out there too. That's in uh, Orlando here in the next like, I think it's 11 days away. So um, Orlando hosts sync the senior and sports youth national conference Darty and Michelle put on a great event. If you're in Florida, I highly recommend registering and going, but we will be there as well. So thank you guys. Have a great rest of your week and I wish you much success this spring season. Bye.